It is Monday the 15th of March 2021 and I'm about to play a segment of video from the uh, public questions period of a Montreal City Council meeting of November 27th uh, 2017 when I asked uh, Sue Montgomery uh, who had been elected as the mayor of uh, Cote de Neige, Notre Dame de Grasse uh, earlier in the month uh, and it also not to my knowledge I wasn't aware of it at the time but she had been appointed as the deputy mayor of Montreal by Valerie Plant. so when I asked this question to Sue Montgomery uh, I did not know but she had I think earlier that day or perhaps the day before been appointed as the deputy mayor of uh, Montreal by Valerie Plant, um, which I consider to be a very foolish decision considering the information I provided to uh, Valerie Plant and everyone else in Praji Montreal uh, to say nothing of every other Montreal politician who was at the uh, June uh, 2017 uh, City Council meeting uh, public questions period but in any case I, I won't go on and on I want to play the question I asked Sue Montgomery basically asked her for a self-assessment of her integrity because she's always going on about how much integrity she has so I asked her to do a self-assessment on a scale of 0 to 12 of how much integrity she has after making certain facts known. Here we go. Come on. Merci. J'aimerais inviter maintenant Monsieur Robert Edgar. Bonsoir, Monsieur Edgar. Bonsoir, euh, Madame Wang. Euh, bonsoir, Madame Vaplante et tous les euh, conseillers de la ville. Um, J'ai une question pour euh, Sue Montgomery. Uh, je vais poser la question en anglais. Mm -hmm. uh, in the uncritical uh, articles in the Senior Times, the Suburban, Actualité, uh, Côte des Notre Dame de Grasse, uh, which George Orwell would probably see as public relations rather than journalism, uh, you describe yourself as a person of integrity, a person who seeks the truth, a human rights defender, a person who demands transparency from all institutions. <clears throat> Here's the question. On a scale of 0 to 12, how much integrity as a human rights defender and a person who demands transparency from all institutions do you believe you have when you have repeatedly refused to condemn and have thus condoned Unitarian Universalism's immoral, unethical, borderline criminal misuse of Canada's blasphemy law and clergy sex abuse cover-up legal bullying that is obviously intended to conceal what the Unitarian Universalist Association's Canadian attorney describes as such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape um, committed by Unitarian Universalist ministers when you not only condone but even directly participate in the Unitarian Church of Montreal's repeated misuse and abuse of the SPVM police force and the criminal justice system in cynical efforts to suppress my Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedom's right to engage in peaceful public protest against Unitarian Universalist clergy abuse and other Unitarian Universalist injustices and, and Mr. abuses. And Mr. Eckert, your question? Pardon? If you can this is the question. Your, your question. This yes. is, it says, how, on a scale of 0 to 12, how much integrity do you have? Um, so I've just about finished. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so Thank you. So your question is how much integrity do you have? Yes, I, I, I just about finished. I have one more part of it to ask. Um, when I think you that also... I mean, we, we understand your question. Maybe you can leave it for your second question afterwards. We're just going to let um, or Mrs. Montgomery or you, Mr. Bush. You give Bush. lots and lots of time to other people. I have maybe 20 seconds worth of question left. Well, there's a second question coming up. Maybe you can leave it to the second question. Monsieur Dimash? Monsieur Edgar, it's not the first time you ask this question in this conseil. My colleague Alex Norris has answered it the first time. I'm going to answer it the second time. We reject the premise of your argument. You do, at the moment, plutôt une croisade personnelle qu'une question sur la vie municipale ou la politique municipale. Et il n'y a pas de réponse qui vous satisfera. Alors, il n'y aura pas de réponse tout court. Merci. I am not surprised that Sue Montgomery did not answer the question. 
And I'm also, actually, I am surprised how uh, Mr. Limoges answered it, or, or non-answered it. Um, I actually have not asked this question. I've asked similar questions, and I have not asked this question to Sue Montgomery. I want a question from Sue Montgomery, and I'm going to finish my question with the final part mm -hmm. of it. Go ahead. <clears throat> uh, you also arrange for Montreal media and defamation lawyer Mark Banty to write a cease and desist demand letter that falsely accuses me of a libel for telling the readily verifiable truth about your complicity and even direct participation in Unitarian Universalism's efforts to cover up and deny Unitarian Universalist clergy abuse, which includes pedophilia and rape. So one more time, on a scale of 0 to 12, how much integrity as a human rights defender do you believe you have when I, those, you know those things are true? Mrs. Mayor. Monsieur Edgar, il faut que ça arrête tout ça là. Vous n'arrêtez pas d'aller, vous, c'est du harcèlement ce que vous faites en ce moment. Et vous le faites dans différents endroits. Et si vous avez une plainte formelle à faire contre Mme Montgomery ou n'importe quelle autre personne ici, vous allez à la police et vous faites suivre le cheminement qui doit être. Il faut que ça cesse. Parce que ce n'est pas productif. Personne, on ne peut pas vous répondre, ça n'a rien à voir avec les affaires municipales. Et encore une fois, ça porte préjudice aux gens ici. Alors on ne peut pas vous aider, allez voir les, insta les instances qui peuvent vous aider à ce sujet-là. Et j'accepterai pas ça ni de vous ni de personne, de porter, de faire des accusations comme vous le faites et de juger de l'intégrité d'une personne. Si vous avez des preuves, vous avez quelque chose à dire, allez voir la police. Merci Madame la mairesse et je suis d'accord que cette question est irrecevable. Merci. Have a good evening. On va passer à la prochaine question, à la question numéro. Okay. So you saw the question I asked. You saw how it was not responded to by Sue Montgomery in any way whatsoever. Uh, you also saw how Francois Limoges uh, totally brushed aside the question, basically pretending, you know, that there is zero credibility to what I have to say, um, as Alex Norris had previously done on at least one or two occasions. Um, in fact, Alex Norris had in the past, and this is going back a few years, uh, he had accused me of libeling Sue Montgomery after I'd been ac uh, accused by Mark Banty, um, the Gazette's a media lawyer, in a cease and desist demand letter that I was served with on December 4th of 2014, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, I even have a video of being handed the uh, cease and desist demand letter while I was protesting outside La Tulip, uh, trying to expose Sue Montgomery's complicity in Unitarian Universalist uh, clergy sex abuse cover-up and denial, uh, especially the uh, refusal on the part of Sue Montgomery to report on the fact that the Unitarian Universalist Association in Boston had hired Steichman Elliott Barristers and Solicitors defamation lawyer Maitre Marc-Andre Coulomb to, amongst other things, falsely accuse me of the criminal act of blasphemous libel for blogging about such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape committed by certain Unitarian Universalist ministers, including Reverend Mac Wallace Mitchell, who was charged, tried, and convicted of rape in the early 1990s, uh, and also one Richard Buell of First Parish Norwell in, Bo uh, in Massachusetts, near Boston. Um, he was not a minister, he was a uh, parishioner of Reverend Dr. Victoria Weinstein, and he was charged, tried, and convicted of the rape of preteen girls, uh, including a female family member who was almost certainly his granddaughter. Uh, so I brought this to the attention of Sue Montgomery in her capacity as the Gazette's justice reporter on December 6th of uh, 2012. So about six months after I had first been accused of blasphemous libel, and uh, I asked her to report that story, that the... Uh, Unitarian Universalist Church, you know, as represented by the Unitarian Universalist Association, as represented by Steichman Elliott Barristers and Solicitors Defamation Lawyer, Maitre Marc-Andre Coulomb, had falsely accused me of violating Canada's blasphemy law for allegedly, and I do say allegedly because it's not true, 
making unfounded and vicious allegations to the effect that ministers of the association engage in such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape. The key word in there is unfounded. There was nothing unfounded about my allegations uh, in terms of Reverend Mac, Wallace, Mitchell, or anyone else. I was actually very careful to only blog about cases where people had been charged, tried, and convicted of pedophilia or rape and had gone to jail and this had been reported in newspapers not just in online sources so my sources were from newspapers in the Boston area that reported on these two cases so there's absolutely nothing unfounded about my allegations regarding Reverend Mac Wallace Mitchell or Richard Buell um, and even if they were actually even if I was making false accusations about Reverend Mac Wallace Mitchell and R Richard Buell etc uh, they would not actually amount to the criminal act of blasphemous libel which is actually attacking what a religion holds to be sacred and holy the only circumstance under which I could be uh, guilty of blasphemous libel for criticizing Unitarian Universalist pedophiles and rapists uh, would be if uh, the Unitarian Universalist religion held such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape to be sacred and holy to Unitarian Universalism, which I don't believe is the case. Um, so anyhow, uh, I asked Sue Montgomery to you know, provide a self-assessment of her integrity on a scale of 0 to 12 because she's always going on and on and on about how much integrity she has and you know how she demands transparency. Well, she obviously didn't want transparency in this situation, did she? Because she refused to answer and she tried to shut me down by hiding behind uh, the skirts of Valerie Plant and uh, Francois Limoges. Um, not in that order, though. Um, and uh, Francois Limoges and Valley Plant very foolishly came to Sue Montgomery's defense when if they'd done some responsible fact-checking in terms of things that I'd brought to their attention uh, months earlier during the June 2017 City Council meeting, uh, to say nothing of some other possible occasions, um, but certainly during the public questions period of the June 2017 City Council meeting, um, they would have being well advised not to uh, get in the way, um, but they did. And, and actually what's interesting is is both uh, Francois Limoges and Valley Plant said that, uh, you know, that no response from Sue Montgomery would satisfy me. Well, they're completely wrong about that. I would have been very happy to have Sue Montgomery give me a number between zero and 12 uh, regarding how much integrity she has. Uh, I'd be, I would have been very happy with that answer because then I could have based on that come up with a follow-up question. Um, if you'd said zero, I would oh, thank you very much Sue uh, for acknowledging that you basically have zero credibility at least on this issue uh, or zero integrity I should say. Uh, well both actually but but uh, you know if she'd given me a number you know six, seven, eight, nine, twelve I could have dealt with that in the follow-up question but uh, I was prevented from asking a follow-up question by Kathy Wong who interrupted me um, and I think she, it was a deliberate interruption. I think she 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 wanted to make it difficult for me to uh, ask a proper follow-up question and uh, uh, basically make me ask the question twice, the initial one. Uh, well we saw what uh, Valerie Plant said. What's very ironic is, is that uh, Valerie Plant basically criticizes me for uh, calling Sue Montgomery's integrity into question. So this is November of 2019, towards the end of November, uh, sorry, 2017, excuse me. Um, since then, I believe in February of, uh, was it 2020? Not that long ago, yeah, I think just over a year ago, uh, Sue Mont uh, sorry, uh, Valerie Plant has gone on public record accusing Sue Montgomery of fabricating stories, creating alternative facts, and uh, what else? Uh, playing the victim. Yes, uh, she's accused Sue Montgomery of playing the victim. Looks like my phone is... Uh, okay, I'll answer that later. Um, so, got a phone call coming in. Anyhow, um, so, you know, here's on the one hand, uh, Valley Plant's defending Sue Montgomery to the hilt, uh, uh, making also ridiculous uh, claims, you know, such as I should take my uh, allegations to the police. Well, I'm, I'm not accusing Sue Montgomery of a crime in this situation. I'm accusing her of unethical behavior. I'm accusing her of 
helping to cover up the uh, Unitarian Universalist clergy abuse. Um, you know, I, I could accuse her of the crime of public mischief, of uh, basically making false reports to the police to try to get me arrested for crimes, you know, so that my sh protest against uh, clergy abuse can be shut down. And she was involved in that in the past. Um, uh, so, and she certainly was later. <laughs> but that's uh, another story. Anyway, I'm getting to the end of... Uh, the first segment of video here. Um, so that's it, you know, I asked for just, you know, give me a zero or 12 or anywhere in between and uh, Sue couldn't do it and both Francois Limoges and Valerie Plant uh, essentially defended Sue Montgomery to the hilt and in a very foolish way, in an incredibly irresponsible way. Um, and uh, that's that. Uh, and now, uh, Sue Montgomery is no longer Deputy Mayor of Montreal. Uh, her term as Deputy Mayor was cut short. Um, I think she had only one year as a Deputy Mayor. And then it was handed over to uh, Sterling Downey. And I don't think that was accidental. I think uh, I don't think Sue Montgomery was meant to have only a one-year term. I think this was a, a move that the Valerie Plant needed to make um, to get her out of the Deputy uh, mayor chair somewhat belatedly she never should have been in it in the first place a uh, huge mistake on the part of Valerie Plant to appoint a uh, flagrant liar uh, someone who abuses her power uh, uh, to to uh, help conceal clergy abuse from the public uh, especially after I warned uh, Valerie Plant and Project Montreal about that during the June 2017 uh, Montreal City Council meeting um, so, so telling me to go to police is absolutely the wrong uh, response. Uh, there's all kinds of other problems with uh, how Valerie Plant uh, responded, but, but what I find very, very ironic is how she you know, strongly criticizes me for calling Sue Montgomery's integrity into question. And then, not that much later, uh, she very publicly did it herself. Again, essentially calling Sue Montgomery a liar. Uh, creator of alternative facts, fabricator of stories, and uh, someone who plays the victim. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Well done, Valley Plant. You're right on the money about that.